Hey everyone, it's Jason, and I wanted to share our experience with an excursion we did in St. Martin on our last cruise with Princess. It was called the Spirit of St. Martin Luxury VIP Snorkel Cruise. When we got off the cruise ship, we were greeted by one of the amazing and friendly crew at the dock. They walked us down to the Spirit of St. Martin. Now, if you've been to St. Martin before, you know there's a set of docks where the ferry goes into town, and that's where the Spirit of St. Martin is, so it's not a really long walk. The Spirit of St. Martin is a custom 114-foot wood schooner, and it was built in Brazil. So fun fact, if you've ever been to Aruba and done the Sunset Schooner Tour, that wooden schooner is actually the sister ship to the Spirit of St. Martin. Now the only difference is the Spirit of St. Martin has this amazing upstairs viewing area that you get incredible views. Now there was about 75 to 90 people on board and there was plenty of shade for everyone. They leave the port and take you around the beaches of Great Bay and you can see all the shopping district and beaches right near the cruise terminal. At this time they're only giving you non-alcoholic drinks. So the cruise info said that they went to Mullet Bay and we actually went to Little Bay. So just FYI, if your heart is set on going to Mullet Bay, understand they may have to make an itinerary change and that might be because of the seas or timing or whatever. One thing I see asked a lot about this excursion, you don't go to any beach. So you don't get off on any beach. You're either snorkeling or on the boat at all times. Once you get to Little Bay, we tied up to a buoy and we were given snorkel gear. A life vest is required to get into the water and snorkeling. That's another thing that I see asked a lot. And yes, they do give you life vests. So you have to swim about 50 to 75 yards. And there is like a cannon, a sunken helicopter and lots of friendly fish. Overall, it was really fun and I loved being in the water. Just know you have to swim a little ways in order to get to the, some of the fun places to see. A couple of things. Getting off the boat, I suggest you just jump in. It's probably about five feet to the water, or you can climb down the ladder. I was the first one to jump in because it was summer, it was hot, and I just wanted to be in the water as much as possible. Now the boat also has a rope swing that you can swing out and jump into the water. I did it and it was lots of fun. The crew walked me through what I needed to do and you probably jump in from about 10 feet in the air and it was a really good time. So climbing up the ladder, the crew was 100% there for every person and helps you get up that ladder. Some people with mobility issues decided not to go in because it is a ladder and you do have to climb them. As I mentioned, there is actually two crew members to help you up and they're patient and they help everyone to get into the boat. And everyone that I spoke to was glad they got in. This is the place you could also paddle board or kayak. And I wish I would have thought about it, but I would have just grabbed one of the paddle boards, paddled over to the good snorkeling spot, snorkeled, and then paddled back to the boat. So that would be my one tip there when you go snorkeling, you might wanna try that instead of swimming all the way over. Now, I would say we spent about 90 minutes there at the snorkeling spot. And once you're done snorkeling and you're done getting in the water, they will give you alcoholic drinks. And they have actually a chef on board cooking the whole entire time. We had chicken, pasta, amazing fruit, bread. There was enough for a couple of trips and it was set up buffet style. In that time, they had music playing and it was just a great time. The crew in the meantime is feeding you, getting you drinks. It really did feel like VIP treatment. You can go upstairs and dry off in the sun or stay under the roof. And as you can see in some of the video, it is open air. We met Jenna, she was amazing. She was part of the crew and she told us more about the spirit of St. Martin. They actually are part of a nonprofit that helps underprivileged kids in St. Martin and when any disasters strike in the Caribbean, they use any extra funds and go and help. I personally love a good story. I was so happy when she told us that. It made me feel really good about going on the spirit of St. Martin. 
She also told us that many of the crew members that worked on board that day were part of that nonprofit and kids that they actually helped in the past. I thought it was an amazing and awesome story. They also have t-shirts you can buy like this one. They're $25 a piece, so I do suggest you bring some extra cash with you. After we were done snorkeling and eating, we headed to Maho Beach to see the airplanes come in. The crew knew the schedule of when the bigger planes were coming in, and we were running a little behind, but still got to see the big American Airlines flight come in and a few smaller planes. The ride back was amazing. The wind in your face, the waves were awesome. Not too rough, but fun enough where you felt it on the boat. It was an amazing time with incredible service. Thank you, Jenna, and the amazing crew of the Spirit of St. Martin. A few tips. You're on a boat in the ocean. I'm not saying don't go if you get seasick, just prepare. The way I would do this is take a bonine before you go to sleep the night before and take another one an hour before getting on the boat and it will 100% help you. I also recommend comfortable shoes and some sunscreen to protect your skin. Also a towel. I would also get a seat under cover and you can always go up on top and enjoy the views at any time. We booked this on board because we had shipboard credit as we had a bungalow reserved in Princess K and we missed it due to the weather. We hadn't planned anything to do in St. Martin, so this excursion cost us on the ship $139 per person, and pre-planning it would have cost us $119. So if this is something that you want to do, I suggest you buy it 100% before your cruise. Overall, this was one of my favorite excursions that we've ever done in St. Martin, and we've been here numerous times. I would do it again and rate it 5 stars. At the filming of this video, it looks like only Carnival Corporation ships have this excursion. So Carnival, Princess, Holland America are only the three brands that I saw that had this excursion. I know Royal and Celebrity, I was disappointed also, but hopefully they work that out in the future. Would this be an excursion you'd be interested in trying? Or do you have any questions for me? Leave a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. I appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Happy cruising.